Although next year's proposed government spending is 10.12% more than this year's, there are some interesting, though not surprising, spending cuts in the 2025 National Expenditure Program, especially on the top sector allocations to include education, public works and highways, and health. Our Sujin Kim has the details to include the 16% slash on confidential and intelligence fund allocations. Confidential and intelligence funds are down 16% in the proposed national budget compared to its allocation in the General Appropriations Act. For fiscal year 2025, DBM Secretary Mina Pangandaman approved a 10.29 billion peso budget which is a significant slide from 12.38 billion pesos. Meanwhile, total unprogrammed appropriations is at 158.67 billion pesos, including the budget for support to foreign assisted projects whose approval is pending with the ICC and NEDA boards. It's definitely lower than the General Appropriations Act. Secretary Pangandaman maintains safeguarding mechanisms are in place to ensure unprogrammed appropriations will not be misused. Moreover, budget for flood control projects was raised to 305.1 billion pesos. In fact, the top five departments with the most increase in the national expenditure budgets are the departments of transportation, education, interior and local government, national defense, and agriculture. The 107 billion peso or 145% increase in the DOTR's budget will mostly be utilized for the department's railway projects. Bulk of it, um, 63 billion, 63.9 billion will go to north-south commuter railway system and then another 39 billion for Metro Manila subway project. On the other hand, the proposed budgets for the Departments of Public Works and Highways, Health, Labor and Employment, for State Universities and Colleges, and the House of Representatives have been slashed. Secretary Pangandaman reiterates there will still be a one and a quarter billion peso budget for the Cancer Assistance Fund. The fund will cover costs for outpatient and inpatient cancer services, including diagnostics, treatments, and cancer medicines. She also underscores a 50 billion peso budget under the NEP for the AFP modernization. Overall budget for the Department of National Defense stands at 204.37 billion pesos. The DBM adds that the current government spending at 2.76 trillion pesos is 14.6% higher than that of last year. The department attributes this in part to its budget management reforms for implementing agencies. Also, current fiscal debt to GDP ratio is consistent with the DBCC's target for 2025. The Philippines has a total net financing deficit of 1.48 trillion pesos. Sujin Kim from the National TV Network for the new and better Philippines.